quarter, who, who's the third greatest shooting guard of all time. So Kareem Ali has something to say about this. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go, but in about two seconds, Kareem Ali will begin to speak. Listen, I think we all know that the top two shooting guards are ironclad. Those spots are cemented. One is Michael Ayer, Jeffrey Jordan, who many believe is the greatest player of all time. So by default, he's the best player to ever play that position. Number two slot has to go to the black mom of Kobe Bean Bryant, who, in my opinion, had the highest skill level of any player I've ever seen, but not quite Mike, but very, very close on both ends of the floor. Five championships to Jordan six, inching close to the mic with the five titles mm -hmm. and was probably the best player of the 2000s. But in the number three slot, and all of, all throughout, I say even through the top five slots, it becomes a little more debatable as to how you, what the criteria is for choosing. And you have, mm -hmm. you have some, some really great players who sometimes are left out. There's a question of the logo, Jerry West. There's a question of Allen Iverson because of his dominance and his size, pound for pound, one of the most athletic and most skilled players we've seen, his dom be able to dominate the game at barely six feet, 165 pounds. There's also the flash of Miami, Dwayne Wade, who who won, uh, I'll let you go in a second, Josh, who Wade was able to win <laughs> three uh, championships and was pretty much unguardable, even by Bryant and many of the, the people in his prime who, who – uh, who also has a finals MVP to boot. Um, and then you have uh, Tracy McGrady, who had a very high skill level, was never able to get out of the first round. There's there's a guy who I like to talk about, who I'll get into later, who's often overlooked and belittled over the years, which is Clyde the Glide Drexler, who was one of the best players to play that position. And I don't think he gets enough credit. Um, and then you have, you know, Reggie Miller and Ray Allen, and in some way you have, you have to put James Harden in there, who's starting to battle his way into the discussion. So I'll go first with Jay Swan. Who's the third greatest shooting guard of all time, Jay? You already know who it is. It's, come on, it's Dwayne Wade, man. Like, all right. like to me, it's like, you know, uh, like, he's my favorite player, by the way. Like, you know, he, uh, you know, reminds me of, like, of a, of a, Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan, the one guy, in my opinion. He uh, won the, his uh, first championship. It's like his third year in the league with Shaq. But Shaq wasn't even Shaq no more. He was just, I don't know. He wasn't the diesel. I will give you some pushback on that. He, Shaq was the <laughs> he got to the finals. I mean, they wouldn't he even was, they yeah, in contention until guy. Shaq was traded there. That's, that's not he may not have far. been the diesel, but he was still shocked in his prime. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, nah, he was still man, the daddy. That, he was an MVP yeah, like, caliber he, player uh, at that point. Still Shaq was, he was averaging like 13 points in that finals. I was like, yeah, I like, to, no. I'll have, have to, I'll have to look at, at that. But throughout the playoffs, especially through the conference finals, Shaq was pretty much Curry in Miami. For those two years, Shaq, Shaq is the reason they were in the finals. They're not even a contender without O'Neal there. Come on, Jay. Are you serious? I mean, he Wade look, was, you know, he was the Shaq closer. Even said, Shaq even was Shaq said up, himself, man. like, this is Wade's team. This is Wade's team. But, like, you know, everybody needs help. Everybody needs help. And, like, you know, um, he did take him to the playoffs the first year with uh, – who wasn't on the team? Brian Grant, Lamar Oldham. Um, who was also on that team? Rafa Olsen. was on the team. Rafa Olsen. They had, they had a Rafa Olsen. <laughs> when they get to the second round? They got to the second they, round? They, they got to the second round and lost to the Pacers. And they went home, yeah. But the next yeah. year with Shaq came, what, what happened? Um, they went to the Carlos Shaq. Finals. They went to the conference finals, and they could, honestly they could have won that championship that year. I don't think nobody would have beat him if uh, Shaq and Wade didn't get hurt. Shaq had a bruised okay. thigh, and like I think Wade like is um, hurt his shoulder, I believe, against the Detroit Pistons. What's your reasoning for saying Dwayne Wade is the greatest shooting guard of all time? And before we go there, we're all clear on who the first two is. There's no argument or discussion there. Like I don't. I'm not gonna. Say, he's my favorite. I want to say he is the greatest. I say third, the third. third greatest shooting guard. Yeah. After the first well, two, the first two is pretty much in, indisputable at this point. At this moment in time. Yeah. Okay. Like a uh, reason. He's a three-time champion. He is a uh, one of the main reasons why LeBron James went down to South Beach and you know 
gave him some, you know, game from like, you know, uh, how to win a championship. Finals MVP. Um, he's on. I think he's been to the All Star like at least uh, thirteen times, and um, deservedly so. He, and like, uh, he's one. And oh, another thing too is like one of the best uh, shot blocking guards in um, NBA history. And he's six yeah. four, and and he plays like he's six eight. Okay. So, like Hit the Rogers. What do, what do you what do you say? What do you say about who's your pick for the third greatest shooter guard? Oh. So, Mine might be a little uh, controversial. Okay. It maybe is a little uh, um, overlooked, slept on individual, um, bona fide Hall of Famer, and who I actually say is third greatest. Um, and I have three reasons why. Okay. Um, and some of them, I guess you could say, they're not all necessarily by the book. But um, I always follow in basketball, you know, once again, the closest that Pittsburgh has ever had come to having a professional NBA team, <laughs> Pittsburgh Pisces, and you know the classic movie, The Fish to Save Pittsburgh. Guy, you know, Dr. Guy. J was the star player. Um, my basketball coach got a rebound in the last scene, and my dad was in the stands when they were filming. So that was that was their all closest to having an NBA franchise, the Pittsburgh Pisces. Well, I believe in the, in the movie, technically it was like an NBA team, but <laughs> so I always followed the team that my favorite players. Were. Um, my favorite player, you know, in my earliest memories was Scottie Pippen. It wasn't Jordan because everybody's favorite player was Jordan. I right. want to be different. I was Pippen. I wore the 33 middle school. And so then um, Pippen went to the Blazers, the Rockets, and then the Blazers. I followed him there. But then as Pippen was, you know, starting to wind down, it was Rasheed Wallace and it was Ray Allen. Ray Allen, I say, is the third. Wow. Um, I saw of all time. Uh, are you um, serious? I'm going to tell, tell you why. That's a shocker right there, man. Jesus Shuttlesworth? Jesus Shuttlesworth? Jesus Shuttlesworth. Jesus Shuttlesworth. Shuttlesworth. Oh, come on. Um, named after Black Jesus of the court himself, Earl of Pearl, um, in the God. movie. But this is why. At the time he retired, arguably the best three-point shooter of all time. Um... Statistically, definitely the best three points in the world. Um, clutch, the most clutch. <laughs> LeBron would have one less ring if not for Ray Allen. Um, is his from Milwaukee to Seattle? I mean, to to Boston with the Celtics to Miami, always consistent. And he was one of the first players of that position who wasn't just a one note, where it was either he was a shooter slash scorer. Or he was a slasher, highlight type of you know offensive weapon. He could do both. You know he was as as effective spotting up as he was being able to come off the dribble, being able to drive, being able to set up other players to have open shots because you had to account for him at all times. Um, one of the most consistent shooters, um, and you know superior athletic skills too. Size six five, plan the two. Like to me, Ray Allen. Should be in the discussion. Better. Than I think it's Dwayne a wide Ray. open discussion. Better than Flash. I'm, I mean, I think it's it's so, a very wide open discussion. So like, it's not. Arguments. There's no significant number three. It's two I different say, arguments going on here, though. As one a is, shooter and as a scorer, one of the best. Of them. One is the is there's the greatest, and greatness is a measure of accomplishments. And then there's the the best, and best is a measure of the eyeball test of your skill set, your versatility, and what you are able to do. And even with that, I thought Ray Allen was better than Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller is more legendary in terms right. of some of the moments he's had. But I think uh, player for player, as far as skills, Ray Allen, because people forget that Ray Allen, he could handle the ball, he could slash. He also was a, a pretty great defender in his time. Well, even all the way up through what I thought was the greatest defensive team I've ever seen in the, the Boston Celtics of the late 2000s. And Ray Allen was one of the catalysts for that, defending most of the two guards in that generation. 